I put the Nazi theory of a white European master race and my own origins to a very scientific test. DNA. A tool the SS didn't have. Now, now the truth will be told. So who am I? Would I have qualified for the SS or in Nazi Germany? Would I be part of the problem or part of the solution? Let's take a look at your maternal line. Uh, in terms of mitochondria DNA, you belong to the haplogroup group uh, T2, which is a very common European type. I think it's comprised around 10%. But if we take a look at your paternal DNA, which is the Y chromosome, there's not an exact match, but you most probably belong to the haplotype type uh, E1b. And it's a Semitic type, which moved north up the Nile into the Mediterranean, and they are divided into two groups. Um, one going uh, spreading west into the Morocco and, and in North Africa. The other one went east into Palestine, Jordan, further on to Turkey and now into Eastern Europe. This is a type that is actually very common among Jews. Well, that's... Um, nothing is quite what it seems there. Um, so originally from my father's side I'm actually probably originated out of the Nile area. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to the conversation I'm going to have with my father when I get back. So, Dad, after we came up along the Nile, did we head west across North Africa or east through Palestine? Take a step out and look at the big picture of ancestral genetic analysis. Is there an Aryan marker there? Is there anything that indicates the existence of a pure Aryan race? No, not at all. Not at all. We are all part of this big tree that have emerged out of Africa. And all the types that you can see today are branches of this tree. There is no Aryan marker because there's no Aryan race. There's no biological or genetic or even any scientific legitimacy for this idea of, of an Aryan race or a pure Aryan blooded person. Motion, the family tree of mankind. From then stemmed every color, creed, and nationality alive today. We know the fathers of mankind started their journey from here, but why did they leave? I'm hoping the few survivors they left behind, the San Bushmen, will help me solve this fundamental question. Fifty thousand years on, I hear their numbers are dwindling fast. Soon they could be gone entirely. I'm arriving not a moment too soon. Hello? Hi. I'm Spencer. And my two children, they are boys. This is my wife. Is a Lisa. Do you want to see a picture of my daughter? Yeah. <laughs> this is her in her school uniform. Her, what's her name? Margo. Margo. I have to explain to them why I'm here. But how do I begin? For a start, what's Bushman for geneticist anyway? I sense this is really going to be tough for a lab rat like me. I just want to tell you a little bit about why I've come here. Um, it's mostly to find out about your way of life. I'm, I'm really excited to be here. You know, it's, it's such a dream for me to get to meet the San people, the Bushmen. In a way, you carry a secret in your blood. And you can think about it like a family tree. I explained the tree was just like the family that we all belong to. My family line is one of the small fractured branches at the very top, while theirs is the oldest on earth, the biggest branch at the base of the trunk. I get the feeling I'm not explaining this at all well, but they're way too polite to say so. This is really quite embarrassing. So it's a great privilege for me to come and meet my distant relatives and the people who give us a glimpse of all of our ancestors. So in one sense, we're all Khoisan, we're all San people. It's just that my skin is slightly redder. <laughs> we would like to thank you for the information that you brought for us. Okay. Yeah.